In psychological terms, it's linked to low openness to experience, confirmation bias, and reduced executive function. It's what makes people double down when they're wrong, reject new evidence as a test of faith, or feel threatened by unfamiliar perspectives. Studies in cognitive psychology and neuroscience have shown that people with high rigidity struggle in fast-changing environments, are prone to black and white thinking, and show poor performance in conflict resolution and moral reasoning. Superstitious belief systems often discourage questioning authority, reinterpreting sacred texts, and changing views even when better evidence appears. This trains the mind to treat certainty as virtue and flexibility as weakness. But in the real world, adaptability is survival. So let's zoom out. Where is cognitive rigidity hurting us right now? Technological and social change. When the world updates fast, rigid thinkers get left behind. They struggle to grasp AI and automation, climate science, and gender, race, and cultural shifts. Instead of asking how should we respond, they ask, how do we stop the change? There's also interpersonal conflict. In rigid minds, disagreement feels like disrespect. There's no room for nuance, middle ground, or mutual growth. So conflicts escalate, families fracture, and communities polarize. There's also ethical decision-making. Rigid morality assumes the rules are fixed, no matter how outdated or harmful. But real ethics is a living conversation, not a dead script. Without flexibility, we can't respond compassionately to complexity. In a world where everything is evolving from our tools to our identities, rigidity doesn't protect you, it isolates you. It leaves you unprepared, unequipped, and unable to engage with reality as it is, not as you wish it would stay. And that doesn't just make personal growth harder, it makes collective progress impossible.